Nicola Sturgeon signed off a contract against the advice of experts. She started building ferries without agreeing a design. She threw good money after bad, and a quarter of a billion pounds has been spent with nothing to show for it. And worst of all, the person with the ultimate responsibility, the First Minister, removed the essential safeguards that would have protected Scottish taxpayers. A former Scottish Government shipbuilding adviser says the final cost could rise to between £350 and £400 million. First Minister, can you guarantee to Scottish taxpayers that will not be the final bill? Uh, Douglas Ross says, and you know, firstly, presiding officer, I am not standing here and saying that there is not a great deal to deeply regret um, about the conduct uh, of this uh, contract. Uh, that is clearly the case, uh, that this has not gone uh, the way anybody would have wanted. Uh, but Douglas Ross says there is nothing to show for it. There are, as of uh, I think the uh, middle of uh, March this year, 462 people in Ferguson Shipyard that have employment. I think that is something to show for the actions of this government. Um, and we will now go on with learning the lessons. Douglas Ross says no lessons have been learned. And then, of course, then of course he narrates uh, the lessons that CMAL have already uh, learned and are putting into practice. So we will continue to learn the lessons. Nicholas Sturgeon's whole claim here, even after she's lost £250 million without building a single ferry, is that the deal was the best option available. First Minister, are you seriously saying that you would sign the same deal all over again. First Minister. Firstly, that was the view at the time the contract was signed. Um, obviously, we would uh, not repeat what has happened. I think that is self evident. Uh, on the issue of the costs, Douglas Ross has quoted, and I know he's quoting somebody else. Uh, costs of uh, between 350 and 400 million. I simply don't recognise uh, those numbers. The cost estimates are, are set out by the finance secretary, and those are the cost estimates uh, that we stand uh, behind. And I've been very clear about that.